guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read 2 Chronicles 33 to 36. And so I want to read Proverbs 29 and Psalm 149. Let's get started. The Anastasia was 12 years old when he began to reign. He reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord drove out of the drove out before the people of people of Israel. And he rebuilt the high place that his, his father has kind broken down. And he erected altars to the vows. And made Asherah and wished all the host of heaven. And so then he built altars in the house of the Lord, and of which the Lord said, In Jerusalem shall my name be for. And he built altars for all the, and all the host of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. He burned his sons and offering in the valley of the son of him. He used fortune telling and angels and sorcery, and dealt with mediums and with the necromancers. And he did much evil inside of what provoking to anger. And the carved image of the that he made, he set in the house of God, which God said to do unto Solomon his son. In this house, in this house, and, and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever, and I will no more remove the foot of Israel from the land that I have appointed for his fathers. For only they will be careful to do all that I have commanded them, all the Lord, the statutes, and the rules given through Moses. And I still led Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem astray, to do more evil than the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the Hebrew Israel. And the Lord spoke to Moses and to his people, that they paid no attention. Therefore, the Lord brought upon them the commands of the army of the king of Syria, who captured Manasseh uh, with bet hooks and bound them with chains of bronze. And brought him to Babylon. When he was in distress, he entreated the favor of the Lord his God and would humble himself greatly before the God, the God of his fathers. He prayed to, and God was moved by his entreaty and heard his plea, and brought him right into the Jerusalem, into his kingdom. And Master knew that the Lord was God after he went out to walk with the city of David, where Sagar had never been. For the entrance into the fish game carried around the earth and raised it into a very great height. He also put commanders of the army in all the four or five cities of Judah. He took away the foreign gods and the isle from the house of the Lord. In all the altars he built on the mountain of the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. He threw them outside the city. He also restored the altar of the Lord and offered it on it, sacrificed the peace offerings of thanksgiving. He commanded you to serve the Lord, the God of Israel. Nevertheless, he pushed a sacrifice in the high places. And unto the Lord they got another verse of the acts of mercy. And he has prayed to his God in the words of the seers he spoke to in the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, they are in the conflict of the king's Israel. And his prayer and how God was made by his entreaty and was sent his faithfulness. And the site on which you go high place and serve Asher in the images, and we humble himself to hold the arena in the chronicles of the seers. So Manasseh slept with his fathers, and they buried him in his house, and Aaron and his son reigned his place. Aaron was twenty two years old when he began to reign, he reigned two years in Jerusalem. He did was even the side of the Lord, as Manasseh's father had done. Aaron sacrificed all the images that Manasseh's father had made, and said that he did not humble himself for the Lord, as Manasseh's father humbled himself with this Aaron and then killed Gil more and more. And his sons conspired against him, put him to death in his house. And he put the land struck down all the enemies who was conspired against King Aaron. He put the lamb side, his son came in his place. So I was eight years old, he began to reign. He reigned thirty one years in Jerusalem. He did with Adam and Isaac and walked in the ways of David's father. He did not turn aside to right hand or to left. But in the eighth year of his reign, now he was the young boy, he began to seek God David. His so father, in the twelfth year, he began to purge you in Jerusalem on the high place of the Asher and the carpet of the Mount Images. And he chopped down the altars of the bars in his presence, and he cut down the incense altars that stood by Bethlehem. He broke and pieced the Asher and carved the Mount Images. And then he made dust of them and scattered it over the graves of those who had sacrificed to them. Sacrificed to them. He also burned the bones of the priests and uh, then out of the cleansed Jews in Jerusalem and then seized them as their family city. They set up Naphtali in the ruins of the He broke down the altar and then cleansed Jews in Jerusalem. And he seized them in Manasseh, Ephraim, and Simeon. Simeon, as far as Naphtali in the ruins of the He broke down the altars and then beat the Asher and the images into power. How do cut down all the incense and all the and all the men in Israel? And then he returned to Jerusalem in the eighteenth year of his reign. And she enclosed the land in the house. He said, Shaphan, son of Zabu, and the master of the government of the city, Joel, son of Jehoahaz, the son of Jehoahaz, the recorder, to repair the house of the Lord's God. And they came to help the high priest that gave you from the money that he had brought into the house of God. His lay was the keepers of the threshold collected from Messiah, and and Ephraim, from all the Roman of Israel, from all Judah and Benjamin, and and from the inhabitants of Jerusalem, they gave it to the workmen who were working in the house of the Lord. And the workmen who were working in the house of the Lord gave for repairing and restoring the house. They gave it to the carpenters and the builders to buy quarries, stone, timber for binders, and used the buildings of the king to do him a good to earn them into the work uh, faithfully. Over, mm. over these were set Jehath and Obadiah the Levites, and the sons of Mary and Zechariah, who were uh, in Nisha and the sons of Kothites, to have. And over this land, the Levites all who are skilled with instruments and men, but over the burden bearers and directed all who do work and never kind of service. Some of the Levites were scribes and officials and gate keepers. And now they are bringing out the money that they brought into the house of the Lord. He'll keep the priesthood of the book of the Lord. And that the Lord had given to him. 
And how can you since the chef and the secretary? I found the book of the Mongol and Hustle. And how can I gave the book to Chef and Chef and brought the book to the king. The feather reported to the king without his committed to the character. If empty out the mind of famine and hustle, they have given it to him by the season of the Chef and the secretary told the king, he okay, the priest has given me a book. And the chef read it before the king. And the king had the words of the Lord. He told his grace. The king commanded how okay, he came son of the chef. And then son of Micah, the chef and the chef and the secretary said the king's servants. And he inquired the Lord for me and for those who were left in Judah concerning the words, uh, the words of the book that had been found. For grace, the wrath of the Lord was poured out on us. And because our father had not kept the word of the Lord to do according to all that had been in this book. And then he'll came those whom the king sent to sent went to hold her the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tokai, son of Hazel, keeper of the wardrobe, and spoke to her to the other. And she said to Thus says the Lord the God of Israel, Tell the man who sent me to you. Thus said, Thus says, Lord, behold, I'll bring disaster upon this place. He appoints him back to Well, the curse that I read in this book, and I was read before the king of Jerusalem, because they have forsaken him, the offering started to God. If they might provoke me to anger with all the works of the hands, therefore, I thought they put out on me. Pour it out in this place and will not be quiet. And to the king of Judah, he said, You to incline the body, thus shall I say to him, Thus is the Lord. God is a regard the words that you have heard, because you hearted him, and you humbled yourself before God, for you heard his words, and this is placed in the sound. And you have humbled yourself, and you have torn your clothes, and wept from the eyes of hand. Praise the Lord, and hold on, gather you to your father, and shall be gathered to your bear in peace. And I shall see all the dust that I will bring upon this place in the sound. And he brought back with the king, the king said, Let to get all the hours of Judah and Jerusalem. And the king went up to the house of the Lord with all the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the priests of Levi. All the people grew great and small. <clears throat> and he read in the hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood in his place and made a covenant for the Lord to walk after the Lord <clears throat> and to keep his commandments and testimonies and statutes with all his heart, all his soul, to absorb all the words of the covenant that were written in the book. And he made all her present years and read to enjoy them. The inhabitants of Jerusalem did point to the covenant of God, the God of their fathers, and Josiah took away all the abominations from all the abominations from the territory that belonged to the people of people of and made all who were present to serve the God of their says so the Lord their God. All those days they did not turn away from following the Lord, the God of their fathers. So I kept the Passover to the Lord in Jerusalem, and he saw the Passover of the Lamb on the fourteenth day of the first month. He appointed the priest to the office and cursed him in the service of the Lord. He said to the Levites who tore all the and the holy to the Lord, and the holy ark in the house that Solomon and son of David King is over. You need not carry on your shoulder. Now serve the Lord your God as he goes. I have paid his sons according to your father, has my division. As described in the writing of David King Israel, and those documents are also. And stay in the holy place according to the group kings of the father's house of your gods. And the lay people according to the discovery and division of the leaders of your father's house. And so the pastor of the land comes to create your, yourselves and prepare for your gods. Prepare for your, prepare for your gods to do according to what I love and this. As I contributed to lay, he was passing the offerings for all the present. Lambs, the youngest, and the fox, in number 30,000, and 3,000, 3,000 bulls. He was from the, from the king's possession, so his officials contributed willingly to the people, to the priests, to the Levites. Hilkiah, Zechariah, Jehiel, chief officers of the, chief officers of the house of God, gave to the priests of the Passover offerings. 2,600 passed over lambs, and 3,300 bulls. And Kenani, Isaac, Shemir, and Nathanael, and Nathanael, his brothers, Hashemir, and Jehiel, and Josabad, the chiefs of the Levites, gave to the Levites the Passover offerings. 5,000 lambs, and young goats, and 500 bulls. And this service had been prepared for the priests in their place. And the Levites in their division, according to the king's command, is for the Passover offerings. The priests see the blood that they received from the Lord, the Levites, by the sacrifice. And they set aside the burnt offerings that they might distribute them according to the group of the Passover of the land. He put to the Levites, written in the book of Moses. And so they did with the bulls. And they rested the Passover of the land with black, going to and he brought the holy offerings in pots and cauldron and pans, and the quickly to all the land he went after and prepared for themselves and for the priest. And the priest, the sons of Aaron, were offering the burnt offerings of the vampire to them. So the Levites prepared for themselves and for the priest, the sons of Aaron. The singers, the sons of Asaph, and their priest, according to command of David, and Asaph, he ran Jews, and the king said, And the gatekeepers were at each gate, and they did not need to part from themselves. They both the Levites prepared for them, and all the servants of the Lord prepared that day. He passed them to offer burnt offerings, and after the Lord went to command the king's son. And then he put Israel in prison and kept the Passover in that time. And the feast died about about seven days. And the Passover like had been kept in Israel since the East days of Israel and the Prophet. And the king's Israel kept such a Passover as was kept by the time. And the priest and the Levites and all Judah and Israel who were present and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he did the reign of Josiah and his Passover was kept. And after all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Necho king of Egypt went out to fight Kark and the son of Euphrates. Josiah went out to meet him, but he sent envoys to him saying, What have we to do with each other, King Jew? I'm not coming against you this day. And it's out of which I am at war. And God's community to hide. He's opposing God who is with him, and I see destroyed. 
Now the last two sides did not turn away from him, disguised himself in order to fight with him. He did not listen to words of Necro from the mouth of God. He came to the fire and planted Megiddo, and the archer shot King's son. And the king said to his son, Take me away from him, badly wounded. So his sons took him out of the chariot and carried him in the second chariot and brought him to Jerusalem. And he died and was buried in the tombs of his fathers. And while Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah, Jeremiah was out of the land of Josiah. The last thing men seeing the woman has spoken of Josiah in the land to this day. They made these warnings that behold, they are written in the land. And the rest of the acts of Josiah's good deeds according to what's written in the law of the Lord. And his acts of blessing lost, behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. He put the land, took Jehovah, has his son Josiah, made him king of his father's house in Jerusalem. Jehovah was 23 years old when he began to reign. And it was three months in Jerusalem, and the king of Egypt departed from Jerusalem, laid in the land and traded with a hundred towns of silver and a town of gold. And the king of Egypt made a league with his brother, the king of Judah and Jerusalem, and he was named to Jehoiakim. And Necho took Joah and his brother and carried him to Egypt. Jehoiakim was twenty five years old, and he began to reign, and reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. And Deal was even the side of the Lord's God. And his new king of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, bound him in chains, taken him to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also carried him near part of the vessels of the house of the Lord to Babylon, put them in his palace in Babylon. The rest of the acts of Jehovah came and the abominations that he did, and was found against the Hill. They had written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. And Jehovah changed the son of his place. Jehovah was 18 years old, when he became king, and he reigned three months and ten days in Jerusalem. And he deal was evil inside of the Lord. And the string of the year came never to us, and brought him to Babylon. And the precious vessel of the house of the Lord, and made his brother Zedekiah, the king of Judah and Jerusalem. Zedekiah was 21 years old, he began to reign, and reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And deal was evil inside of the Lord's car. He did not humble himself before Jeremiah the prophet. He was broke from the mouth of the Lord. He was so bad against King Nebuchadnezzar, and he was swear by God. He stiffened his neck and hung his high against the to the Lord, the God of all the officers of the priests. The Hebrew life was exceedingly unfruitful, following all the abominations of the nations. And all the nations, and they cleared the house of the Lord, that he made holy in Jerusalem. The Lord, the God of their fathers, sent pestilently to them by the mouth of the Lord, and his because he compassionate on his people. And then on their dying place, and then on their way near as well. But they kept mocking the messengers of God, despising the words of God, the prophets, until the wrath of the Lord rose up against the people, against people, until there was no remedy. Therefore, he brought up against them the king of the Chaldeans, who had killed the young man, the sword in the house of the sanctuary, who had no connection with the young man, the virgin, the old man, the age, he gave more to his head, and all the messages of the house of the Lord, God, great and small, and great and small, <clears throat> and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king's princes, and all these he brought to Babylon, and they burned the house of God and broke down the wall of Jerusalem, and burned the walls past the fire. He destroyed his precious vessel. He took him to exile in Babylon. He was escaped from the sword until the king became so as to him to his son. And until the establishment of the kingdom of Persia to fill the world of Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah. And to the land he enjoyed in Sabbath all the way days and laid against later he kept Sabbath. He fulfilled seventy years. Now the first year Cyrus king of Persia, the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah may be fulfilled. The Lord stood the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, so he made a proclamation throughout all the king's kingdom. And he said, right. Thus says Cyrus king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and has charged me to build the house of Jerusalem. This in you, whoever is among you, who was made the Lord has God be with him, let him go on. Ezra 1 to 3. In the first year, Cyrus came to Persia, and the word of the Lord of God by the mouth of Jeremiah be fulfilled. The Lord stopped the spirit of Cyrus came to Persia, so he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, as he put it in writing. Thus says Cyrus came to Persia, the Lord the God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has charged me to build him a house of Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you, who was evil, may his God be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, who is in Judah, and rebuild the house of the Lord. And then God of Israel, he is the God who is in Jerusalem. Let each survive in one of the places he said, be assisted by the man of his place with silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, besides free will offerings for the house of God. And is in Jerusalem. And rose at the heads of five houses of Judah and Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God has stood up to go and stood to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord as in Jerusalem. And all who have been, eight of them with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods and beasts, with costly ways, besides all that was freely offered. And as I as the king, as they brought out from the vessels of the house of God, and Nebuchadnezzar carried away from Jerusalem and, and, and placed in the house of his gold. Cyrus the king of Persia, and then carried it, brought these out in the charge of Mithra, death of the treasure. He gathered them out to Shesh, the prince of Judah. And this was the number of them 30 basins of gold, 1,000 basins of silver, 29 cents, 30 bowls of gold, 410 bowls of silver, and 1,000 other vessels. While the vessels of gold and silver were 5,400. And all these did Shesh, the prince when the exiles were brought from Babylon to Jerusalem. Now these were the people of the province who came, out, uh, came up out of the captivity of those exiles. Him Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried captive to Babylon. He returned to Jerusalem and Jew, east to his own time. He came to Zerubbabel, which is Shur, Nehemiah, Sarai, Relay, and Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpah, Bibi, Raham, and Banner. And the number of the men of the people is as the sons of Hamish, 2172, the sons of Shephatia, 372, the sons of Ari, 775, the sons of Pathman, and the sons of Jishu and Jah, 2812, the sons of Ellen, 1254, the sons of Zatu, 945, the sons of Zachai, 760, the sons of Bani, 642, the sons of Bui, 623, the sons of Asgai, 1222, the sons of Adonikam, 666, the sons of Bigwai, 2056, 
Sun's at 8 and 4, 154. The sun's at 8, so Namely has a cloud 98. Sun's at B's at 323. Sun's at Jewel 112. And the sun's at Hashem 23. Sun's at Big Gibba at 95. Sun's at Bethlehem 123. The minute at Nature 556. The minute at Amethyst. And the sun's at 128. The sun's at Esme at 42. The sun's at Kirith Aram, Shafir, and Biroth 743. And the sun's at Ramah and Gibba 621. The sun's at Mishmash 122. And the Bethlehem and I 120. 223, Sons of Nebo 52, Sons of Magmish 156, Sons of Other Eli 1254, Sons of Haram 320, Sons of Lord Ahadinah 725, Sons of Jericho 345, Sons of Senna 3630, and Priests, Sons of Judea, the House of Jeshua 973, and Sons of Emma 1052, and Sons of Passion 1247, Sons of Haram 1017, and Sons of Jeshua and Kadmiel, the Sons of Hodavi 74, Sons of Asaph 128, Sons of the Gatekeeper, Sons of Shem, Sons of Ahab, Sons of Thomas, Sons of Akib, Sons of Hadesia, Sons of Sheba, in all 139, Temple Servants, Sons of Zihad, Sons of Hashifa, Sons of Tabarath, Sons of Keros, Sons of Sihad, Sons of Paddan, Sons of Labana, Sons of Hagobeth, Sons of Akhub, Sons of Hagobeth, Sons of Shemlai, Sons of Hanan, Sons of Gidel, Sons of Gehal, Sons of Rea, Sons of Rezin, Sons of Nekeda, Sons of Gazan, Sons of Azur, Sons of Pasea, Sons of Besides, Sons of Asna, and the Sons of Meganin, Sons of Nechasin, the Sons of Bakbuk, Sons of Hakafa, Sons of Haha, Sons of Bakbuk, Basloth, and Sons of Mehida, Sons of Hasha, the Sons of Bakbuk, Sons of Sisra, the Sons of Tima, the Sons of Mezia, and the Sons of Hatifa, and the Sons of Solomon, the Sons of Sotai, the Sons of Hashafrith, and the Sons of Peru, the Sons of Jala, the Sons of Jaka, the Sons of Gidel, the Sons of Shefti, Sons of Hattil, the Sons of Pokhat, the Sons of Bane, the Sons of Anami, all the seven temple servants, the Sons of Solomon, the Sons of 392, the following those who came up from Talmud, Tel Hasha, Cherub, Adan, and Amon, though they could not prove their father's houses, by descent whether they belonged to Israel, the Sons of Delay, the Sons of Tobia, the Sons of Nekida, and the 652, Osa, the Sons of the Priest, the Sons of Hashemi, the Sons of Hakos, and the Sons of Azale. And he saw their registration among those involved in the genealogy, he had not found it, so they may be included from the priesthood as unclean. Governor told them they are not to partake of the most holy food till they should be priests to consult the Uru and the Thomas. The whole assembly together 42,360, besides their male and female servants, whom there were 7,337, and 200 male and female servants. Their horses were 736, and their mills were 245, their camels were 435, and donkeys were 6,720. So then the heads of fire and the when they came to the house of the Lord that was in Jerusalem, they filled offerings with a hesker to erect on the side. Going on to their ability, they gave to the treasury the work 61,000 derricks of gold. 5,000 meters of silver and 100 priest garments. They are priests who live by some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants living in their towns. While the rest of Israel in their towns, the seven month king, the children of Israel in their towns. People gathered as one man to Jerusalem, the end, or as Jesus and the sons of Josedach with his fellow priests. And Zerubbabel was son of Shanti with the kids, and they built the altar of the God of Israel to offer better offerings to Israel. And it's really in the Lord, and it's the man of God. They set the altar in his place for fields on it because the heap was alone. He offered better offerings on it to the Lord, and the present offerings were only in it. Get the feast of Christmas, but now offered the daily bread offerings are number according to the Lord as each day required. Not just the regular bread offerings, the offerings that we made at their appointed feast of the Lord. No offerings that everyone made for the offering to the Lord. On the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer bread offerings to the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid, so they gave money to the mason the compasses, and free of drink and oil to the Sidonians, to Terry, to bring seven trees from Lebanon, to the sea, to drop a coin to the ground that they had from size, king, and pleasure. And the second year after they came to the house of the God at Jerusalem, in the second month, the Zerubbabel the son of Shaltiel, the Jesus son of Josedach, made a beginning together for the rest of the kings with the priests and Levites, all who had come to Jerusalem from the captivity. They appointed the Levites from twenty years old and upward, twenty years old and upward, to supervise the work at the house of the Lord. And Jesus was his son's brothers and came and son's son to Judah to get to supervise the work in the house of God, along with the sons of Hanadiah and the Levites. The sons of Moses, when the Lord lays the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests and their vestments came forward with trumpets. And and the Levites, sons of Asaph, with symbols to praise the Lord. And according to the direction of David, King Israel, and they sang responsibly, praise and give thanks to the Lord. They just gave his service, love, and just forever toward Israel. And the Lord was shouted with a great show, and they praised the Lord. And at the foundation of the house, the Lord was laid. Now all the men of the priests and the head of the Levites and heads of father's houses. And all the men who had seen the first house were at the loudest. And they saw the foundation of this house being laid. There were many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not distinguish the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. And they all shouted with a great show, and the sound was head far away. Proverbs 21. A king's heart is stronger than the hand of the Lord. He turns away every will. Everywhere man is right in the Lord is hard to do, but since he is most acceptable to the Lord and sacrifice. What is a proud heart? The one of the will cursing. The finance of the will is only surely to open. So everyone is hasty to come to the public. Gain a trace by a long time, fleeing vapor snow. The finance of the will will suit no one. He knows they refuse to do what is just. Let the good is forever. The conduct is pure as ever. It's better to live in the corner of the house than in the house shared with the cost of life. The soul of the wicked side to you is near finance no mercy inside. The scoff is punished simple consequence. One is by an instructor he gives him under the rational lips of his house to live. He is looking down to go. No one causes you to cry the poor will himself quiet and not be answered. You give the secret right there. Conceal bribes, don't cry. 
And then Justin's done his joy to like the to even else. Wanting one is the way this will rest in the next day. Whoever lost flesh will be a He was one and one will not be yours. Raise the rats for the rats and the trade for that but It's better to live in this land than with the cause of the fretful one. Christ shares in the way and the wise man's joy. The void man devouts and whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find love for us in the sinner. Wise man's God saves the money, breaks out the strong and wishes trust. Whoever keeps his town in it, Matthew's town, he gets out of trouble. He's got the name of the arrogant holy man here. So it's arrogant fight. This is slowly kills him for his hands or feet's life. One day alone, he cries and cries for the righteous gives and doesn't hold back. Seven that's the weeks in abomination. How much money brings it with evil and tough? Force with no surprise, but the word of a man he is a winter. When the man puts on a bold face, but the robber gives the Lord to his rise. No wisdom and understanding that her counsel can avail against the Lord. Who has made a victory for the day, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Psalm 149. Sorry, it's the lesson to the Lord in your song. It's praising it's somebody to the godly. Hey, so be glad to make it. The children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let the praise in their dance. Make a melody to him with tambourine and The Lord takes pleasure in his people. You don't sound with salvation. Let the godly exalt and glory. The two children live as. But the high priest will go beyond their throats and two edged swords in their hands to execute for insult of nations, punishment of the peoples. So go on the kings who change and the nobles with feathers on to execute on the judgment written. The song falls called the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now it's the nation. I do the Lord's prayer. Thanks, Christ. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You can come here on this. I see and have it and give us day or day, but if you have she is here, and if it leaves you on temptation, let us know before. You know this is the kingdom of the time of the good for the Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.